Alright, what's up guys? Today's video is going to be uh, by popular request for some of you guys um, on my Instagram page that wanted to know about the disc brake upgrade that I did on the Datsun. Um, this disc brake upgrade uh, works for Datsuns um, and uh, hard bodies also uh, for the front only. This is only discussing for the front. Uh, so gonna take you step by step on uh, what I used what I know works and what tips and tricks you might want to uh, look into and maybe possibly um, other vehicles you might want to take disc brakes off of but also um, concerning uh, the drop spindle that you're gonna have to use if you maybe have a front disc uh, drum brake with uh, kingpin style um, spindle for the Datsuns, at least. For the hard bodies, you don't have to worry about it because you things and as we go and we'll see how, how everything progresses.
my god! Wow! Okay guys, so this is my setup currently. I have two piston caliper and bracket um, off of a 92 hard body four wheel drive the uh, hub right here is the same the rotors the same thing off of a 92 four wheel drive hard body so or you can also get these off of a two wheel drive um, v6 hard body because the v6 hard body had dual piston calipers like this one and the pathfinders um, all the pathfinders have dual piston calipers so you can find a two-wheel drive one nice. that has this style hub and um, you can get the rotor the bracket and the caliper for it okay so that's for specifically for hard bodies and pathfinders but as you can see we know we're, we're working on Datsuns and I'm working with a 78 Datsun uh, 620 so I already have upper control arms lower control arms but with a ball joint so when you have stock ball joints on your Datsun no problem get a uh, the the spindle is a drop spindle from Beltec I don't know if you guys can see that it's probably really zoomed in um, but the the drop spindle is a two inch drop spindle from Beltec. Um, that works with the hard body brakes. No problem wow. whether they're four wheel drive or two wheel drive, it still works. Um, so to get this setup, this brake setup, I got all the V6 stuff off of a hard body. So this is all V6 hard body, two wheel drive stuff. Um, and then including the brake line, the brake line because you're going to need a longer one and something that'll hold better capacity for brake fluid on this one because they're only a little bit bigger, but it's not that much of a difference. Um, but either way, you're probably, your stuff is probably old, so replace it, it's no big deal. Um, so if you have a ball joint Datsun, which you know, you have this little, this right here and your ball joint right underneath connects to your spindle no problem get the spindle from a hard body v6 two wheel drive hard body hub rotors caliper bracket and that'll be two piston setup you'll be all good there same thing with the uh with the wheel bearings both of them inner and outer you get those same thing from uh from the same car okay same style model everything so and that'll be for that but you have to have it on the hard body drop spindle um, but that's only for if you already have a simple setup like this one where it already has upper control arms lower control arms and they're ball jointed now have a kingpin style Datsun. There is a disc brake kit um, that comes with a bracket that you put on back here uh, where the uh, the stock bracket for the for the uh, brakes would go and bolt it up and then you can do your single piston um, upgrade. But again, that's for kingpin setups. So, kingpin setups, you can also do the ball joint conversion, which you would need a whole new upper control arm, low control arm, and spindle and tire brakes, because you'll probably be running uh, drum brakes in the front if you have a kingpin setup. I haven't heard of anybody that had a kingpin setup with disc brakes stock. Um, but it's possible that they're made wrong, I'm not sure. I'm not the know-it-all of Dodson's, but I'm a pretty good know-it-all for uh, hard bodies. So, so for kingpins, you need to get your upper control arms, lower control arms, the spin 
spindle, brakes, rotors, caliper bracket, brake vents, and hardware kit. Simple setup, or you can just buy the disc brake conversion kit, which means you can keep your dot your kingpin setup, but turn into um, disc brakes. Uh, and I'll look for the link in the description um, so you guys can get it. Um, it'll be an eBay um, uh, store for B Bunny Customs. Um, he's also on Rotson and um, anywhere that has to do with Dotsons and hard bodies. He is the man we go to for this Dotson hard body setup stuff. He's helped me with discounts on parts because I bought quite a bit from him. Um, this isn't a plug for him. He hasn't paid me. He hasn't done anything like that. I'm just putting him out there because he helped me and I'm sure that he, if you talk to him, he can help you um, somehow. Um, so talk to him, let him know what you have, what you want, what you need, and get the ball rolling at least that way. But if you already have ball joints, this is something you can do by yourself. It's not anything that you need to order parts from custom anybody, you know? So. Okay, so hit him up. Talk to him, look at his store. He has a bunch of stuff for Dotsons for the front and for the rear. He also has a disc brake setup um, kit for the rear, which I used. And uh, I can get into the, um, the how-tos of that. But this is a for sure rundown of everything that you would need for a two-piston upgrade. You see everything sits in there nice. Everything's in stock location. You can order everything off of one car. Um, so that makes it real practical, real easy, and uh, well, a better stopping power from what these Datsuns had. And if in case you're wondering why this looks so different than yours, on your hard body guys at least, um, I got a cutting wheel and ground down uh, most of these little ridges that were here that came out pretty far because if you know wheels are kind of hard to find in a bigger size that have this bore size which i believe is uh, 104 and a half or well, four and a, four, 104 and a quarter uh, millimeters which is a pretty big bore size because of these little extra humps so what we do for the tar uh, titan wheels um, any titan wheel we have to bore out the center bore um, of the wheel which I feel is fine it's practical it's cheap if you find a good machine shop to do it um, but I didn't want to do that I didn't want to spend um, 40 bucks a wheel 80 bucks a wheel however much they charge to bore out each wheel each time I want to change a wheel so I'm gonna show you no joke I'm gonna try to get you a regular shot and a uh, shot of the of the other one, of the stock one, so you can see the difference of this one and the stock one, and you'll see why. And just so you know, this is an 18 inch, 18 by 8 um, Titan wheel off of uh, I think like an 08 or something Titan. And just so you think I'm out. BS in you. The hub is completely unboard. It's stock. So this fits perfectly on that hub without being bored out. Holy shit, look at that spider. If I put my hand in there, Jesus. That son of a bitch. Crazy. Anyways. So that's that's what I got going here for you, uh, for some of you guys that were asking me on on uh, Instagram. I'm happy to do it. Um, so 92 hard body rotor bracket caliper brake pads hub and spindle. If you already have the drop spindle and uh, ball joint conversion okay if you already have that this is simple get the stuff at the junkyard and buy new brakes 
done. Buy new bearings, pack them, put them in, easy, easy. Um, to all your dots and buddies uh, hard body buddies this this is very easy useful and this is a definite um, this works um, situation because this works I've done this on plenty of my hard bodies that I had in, in the years um, and this is uh, this is what works for me um, so you know you guys can do this It'll either be custom parts or easy. Just go to the junkyard, find them, get the 50% off at the pick and pull with the, uh, at the pull pull. You know, in SoCal, guys, you know, we can go pick apart all day and just tear apart, tear apart these hard bodies. No, no big deal, you know? So um, that's easy, you know? Just make sure you get those, um, the cap caliper and the bracket to match. One thing is the disc brake the version. You can you can opt to put in the dust shield that goes on the back. Um, I don't have it. I don't run it. I don't need it. Honestly, it doesn't make that much brake dust um, to begin with. I'm sure I haven't driven the car forever, um, so it doesn't make any disc brake dust right now. But still, um, uh, it still doesn't make that much they just break dust anyways so I would just suggest you can get it if you want you know it's no big deal it's just four Phillips screws so take a Phillips screwdriver with you because those are Phillips Phillips head screwdrivers and you might want to take um, an impact driver because those little bitches are on there and they will strip so get your impact driver smack that thing with the hammer and twist them off there's only four of them easy comes out no problem um, other than that if you're running bigger wheels I don't like the studs that come on the hard bodies they're really short these Datsuns are the same thing they're really short um, I'm running 240SX stock um, wheel studs they fit perfectly they're perfect you know um, if you're doing this upgrade you can probably even get um, longer ARP um, wheel studs um, if you wanted to do that, I don't, I don't know why would you want to do anything bigger. Um, but I wanted to make sure the wheels were actually going to stay on the studs other than more than three or four, five um, threads. I wanted something to grab onto. Um, so that's the only other thing that I could recommend for an upgrade on this. Um, so this brake shield, optional. I would upgrade the wheel studs that come off of these hubs. For 240SX studs, uh, pick them, just pick a year, um, and they'll work. You need to get six of them, so what, 20, 12, 24 for the whole wheel, for the whole truck. Um, 92 hard body, two wheel drive, V6 truck. Long bed, short bed, doesn't matter. Um, caliper, the whole brake setup with the with the hub and the um, rotor everything all of it. and don't forget about that brake line that brake line you should get that up brake line too um, so just make sure everything's new everything's tight new fluid um, and yeah that's really all I can do I'll tell you guys the same thing for the pathfinders though um, uh, two wheel drive oh no uh, v6 is they're all v6s so you can get them off a of two wheel drive or a four wheel drive um, but just remember if you get them off of a V6 um, hard body and a V6 
Pathfinder, they are different. So you can't mix hard body stuff with the, with the Pathfinder stuff for the brakes at least. They are different. The rotors are a little bit thicker. So if you get it, get it off of one truck and memorize that truck so that when you get brakes, the rotors, you have the right stuff, the right measurements and everything. Okay. So Pathfinders, any year, um, as long as it has a, a two piston um, calipers in the front, uh, you can use the four wheel drive or the two wheel drive, they'll still fit. Um, I usually just go for the two wheel drive just to make my life easier. There's more two wheel drives than there are four wheel drives out there anyways. So you'll find a two wheel drive easy. And yeah, so I would recommend getting a two wheel drive Pathfinder or hard body V6 for both of them and get the brakes, the brake caliper, bracket, rotor, and the hub off of one car and use that. That's it. So pick one and get it. Whatever's available, whatever you can find, whatever you can steal. I don't know, I'm not condoning stealing, but however you get it is your problem, not mine. <laughs> um, so that's what I know works. Hopefully it'll work for you. And this works for Datsuns um, with ball joints and, or ball joint conversions and um, hard bodies, any hard body from 85 and a half forward. So. Um, that's really all you guys need to do a simple disc brake setup and you know it stops on a dime bro I'm telling you this thing it, it stops and then you put some disc brakes on the back off of another car off of a Toyota um, these ones are off of an Isuzu Trooper um, with a custom bracket which I'll get into in another video showing you how I did that and what what it all is involved in doing that so we'll do that in another video for for you guys that want to do a rear disc brake um, conversion which I'll show you um, and also show you the uh, master cylinder upgrade that I also did that one uh, that one was from uh, California Datsun so I'll leave a link in the description for the custom parts for the upper and lower control arms and the kingpin conversion um, from the botany site um, it's an ebay site so don't be afraid when it redirects you to an ebay site so it's what i'm telling you to go to because he has a bunch of Datsun hard body specific um, brakes and um, suspension stuff so he knows his, his, his shit he's been designing and engineering stuff um, for these trucks for a quick minute um, if you're part of the Rotson Society forums, um, you can get on there, um, you'll find him, and everybody will, will, will swear by him knowing that he knows his stuff uh, on these Datsuns and on these hard bodies. So don't trip, I'm sending you to a reliable source, it's not just some random dude that I know so we can pocket some money, because I'm either way I'm not making any money over this, but for sure. Um, go there, check it out, get what you need, get it done. And then hit me up, let me know how it went. Uh, if you need help, if you're local to SoCal, I will more than gladly walk out there, drive out there, hopefully in my Datsun, and hook you guys up with some of my help and some of my knowledge. If you guys want to go to the junkyard with me, I am more than happy to go with you guys. Um, I am always looking for parts. I'm looking for Porsche 911 um, bucket seats, um, the pair, you know, the passenger and the driver's side for this. Uh, um, heap. So if you guys need help, let me know. Ask me. Hit me up on, on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, on here. Um, let me know what you need and I'll help you any way I can. I know a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of information about hard bodies. I've been dealing with hard bodies for forever and trust me, I am a wealth of knowledge and I have spare parts up the ass about for hard bodies. <coughs> so let me know um, Datsuns I'm not the know-it-all on Datsuns um, this is actually my first Datsun that I've been uh, I, that I've had uh, I plan on having more so I'm going to be a little Datsun hoarder but for now yeah this is what I know this is what will work 
and this is what I made work. Um, you know, figuring things out, researching, and um, forum hunting. Um, you know, that search button is your best friend. Trust me, that search button will help you a lot. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got, man. You know, all you guys on Instagram, this is the video you were asking for. You know, now you got the information, the visual, what it looks like, some tips, um, definite what works um, for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Remember to comment, late, like, rate, subscribe, um, share it, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, your mama, your brother, your neighbor. I don't care. Tell someone to watch it, subscribe. It helps me. It helps me grow the channel. Um, and hopefully in the next month or so, I will um, start to have custom shirts uh, made with the, with the logo for Bagged and Boosted. And um, yeah, hopefully maybe you guys can support me in the channel with uh, some uh, merch purchase. Help me out. <laughs> I want to continue buying stuff for this uh, truck so we can bag it faster, so we can boost it faster you know the motor is coming along but it's coming along slowly but I want to get it done and I want you guys to be there with me and buying cool parts overnight parts from Japan so it'd be a nice way to spend ten thousand dollars if you really know you really know I don't even have to tell you what quote that or where the movie that quote is from so if you really know you know <laughs> so all right guys yeah that, that's all I got for you guys um, comment, rate, subscribe, like, share, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.